today I'm going to be doing, um, a while ago, maybe if I actually do some editing on this thing, I will do a picture and include that in here of a piece of art that I did. Um, I took um, some scraps that I had lying around, made these cool little mountain things, and then set them on a backdrop, something similar to this. And I did it with poured acrylics. So it ends up look, looking like that, but with poured acrylics, and that's glued on top of that. Um, so I wanted to do a couple more. Um, I love the pink color combinations that I got. Um, so let me flip this thing around, make sure it's stable, and I'll get into actually mixing and pouring, and we'll see how it comes out. You don't have to see my beautiful face anymore either. It's going to be on that side of the desk, bench, whatever you call it. Um, so I have these pre-mixed acrylics um, for pouring. Um, these are from Poured Sold Art. Um, she's on Etsy at Poured Sold Art. Um, I met her before. She's pretty awesome. She's also an amazing artist. Um, but these are her ready-to-pour fluid acrylic pour paint. So you don't need to add any of the other oils and lubricants and stuff like that to this pour that you would need to do otherwise. Um, so I am going to try. We've got Starry Night Blue. We've got Silver Sea Foam Green. We've got um, Wicked White. Um, and I have just a little bit left of those from my last pour, so I'm going to use some of that. And as a slight accent between each layer, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do some um, No Fool's Gold Metallic. Um, if you live here, it's been sitting around in my 90 degree garage here for um, weeks. So you just want to give it a good shake and make sure that all those oils and everything and lubricants are all mixed in. So we'll do that with these as well. And that's really about it for what we need to do. Not sure if I'm included on this one. Um, this is a free sample I got from her. Um, it's a green, it's a metallic green. So it's got some sparkling, which is kind of cool. Um, but uh, I'm probably not gonna use that this time around. I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go from deep to light. So from the starry night blue, a little gold, then the um, seafoam green, and then the white. So I'm gonna take this and guesstimate how much I need. I have a 60 ounce bottle here, so I can be a little good with it. So make sure I have enough. I'll just do this right on top of here. I'm gonna do a little gold. I'm gonna go seafoam green. A gold. And then white. So I have a full cup there, which might be more than just enough, but might be more than this one. Um, also, just a quick note, I spray this with sealant before actually um, uh, putting this on here so it doesn't seep as much in the paint. Um, but a cool thing that you can see that happens when you start mixing these things, so they start forming little bubbles in there and little islands of color and stuff. So it's really cool. So let me try our first pour, see how it goes. The pour in the center, top center, it's got a little, now we're slow to it. Ah, there it is, I have to balance that out. I'm gonna do another little mix of that to be able to get more of it. Although, I do have, let me go, full white, a lot of white, gold. Let's see if I can get some of that really deep blue. I don't want to really do it, but I want to mix it up a little bit. Also make sure I get some more edges. Is that a little bit? Sure, I get all the edges down here because this is all going to be visible on top of that backer board. 
Excuse me, Heather. That came out really freaking awesome. And it's got a whole different kind of profile when it drives, which is really cool. Yeah, it looks like I'm wasting a lot of paint. Kind of a sad thing. Um, but I'm new to this. I haven't looked into the best way to reclaim this stuff. But it all gets mixed, so you kind of just got to go with it, I think. The back of my head is very interesting. Kind of get in underneath there a little bit on the edges of the plywood so that covers that up just so nobody sees if it's hanging down a little low or if you're really tall all right so that's it that's a pour right there it's got complete coverage it's just going to drip off and still kind of do its thing um this middle here is the most interesting because there's a lot in there So I think I'm just gonna let that sit. Maybe if I can pop it a little bit. It'll it'll flow off there eventually. Uh, but this will take some time to dry. Um, so yeah. That's it. Um, they're not cheap paints, but they're also getting all the job done for you, so I'd highly recommend them. Again, that's poured soul art on Etsy. Uh, her name's Kate. She's awesome. Um, and that's it. That's a pour. Um, this is a very long process from start to finish making the backboards, making these are actually easy, gluing them up, uh, doing the backboards, getting all that put together, then getting the paint, and then waiting a couple days for this thing to be perfectly dry, coating it. It's a, it's a long process, um, uh, but it's a lot of fun and something kind of different. Um, so I kind of love it. Uh, so I'm going to do another one of these for the next one. And I'll compare the two recordings and see which one you guys are going to see. Um, anyways, thank you. I'm Jeff Roski again. Varro Industries. See? Mm -hmm. I have um, that Twitter thing at GVARO. Um, Instagram at GVARO. Um, Facebook as Varro Industries. Um, so, yeah. Stay around. Oh, um, this is also on a YouTube channel. Um, so, there's a like button over here, maybe. And a subscribe button somewhere else. I don't know. New to YouTube. So it's somewhere. Um, if you want to do both, that would be awesome. Thanks, guys. Later.